an inland sea with extremely salty water, a delicate web of life, important industries. It may seem like this is our own Great Salt Lake, but this is Lake Urmia in Iran. Chara. Lake Urmia is drying up. This is an Iranian documentary film about its dramatic decline over the last 15 years or so. Yeah, that is a really severe problem for us. And this is a van load of Iranian scientists on the causeway to Utah's Antelope Island, passing similar expanses of dried lake bed. The Iranians marveled at how much the Great Salt Lake reminds them of their own Lake Urmia. Unfortunately, right now, we lost almost 80% of the lake's surface area and almost all living species in the lake. So it's really a terrible situation. The Great Salt Lake has been shrinking too, but much less so. The web of life is similar to what's been lost in Iran. Vast swarms of brine flies are part of an important food chain. Brine shrimp are an important industry and a food source for birds at the Great Salt Lake. Two and a half, three million birds visit the lake each year. Here's the Bear River Migratory Bird Refuge. Professor Wayne Wurzbaugh of Utah State University has visited the sister lake in Iran. It's almost lost and it's too salty for brine shrimp or brine flies. They've lost their flamingos, other birds. The two lakes are astonishingly similar in geology, elevation, size, depth. Even their shapes are remarkably alike and both have causeways dividing them in two. The Iranian scientists are consulting with American scientists to learn about management practices that might eventually restore Lake Urmia. Unfortunately, when we realized that the lake is shrinking, it was a bit late. They look at the Great Salt Lake as, oh, you guys are managing the Great Salt Lake so well, we want to learn from you. Maybe we can learn some lesson from you. At the same time, we would like to share our experiences regarding to Urumia Lake and deliver this message to you that if, if you don't do the prevention measures, if you don't consider the lake serious and you don't start action immediately, you might face the similar situation of Urumia Lake. Lake Urmia was named a national park in Iran in 1967, but several million people live nearby. Their increasing demand for water, especially for growing crops, has caused much of the lake's shrinkage. It turned into a big political issue. The current president of Iran campaigned on a promise to restore the lake as his first priority. But Ali Chavoshian says it will take a huge amount of time and money because Iran waited too long. I believe as soon as you start, it will be better. And I believe uh, if uh, you could actually concentrate, concentrate it on prevention measures, that would be much better than later on concentrated on kind of restoration measures. Professor Wurzbaugh says it's even a health issue because a dried up Great Salt Lake might generate big dust problems. He says Utahns need to find ways to conserve water instead of diverting more and more from the rivers that feed the Great Salt Lake. Maybe we don't need to water our lawns as much or we can have different types of agriculture that don't use as much water so that we can live in a little bit better balanced state with it. It's not too late, but there's a lot of momentum moving forward for water development, and the Great Salt Lake needs to be part of that discussion.